What's going on guys, it's your boy B. Dot back with another quick video, man. Just getting up around here a Sunday morning. Today I want to come at you real fast, man. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I woke up this morning looking like Lou Gossett Jr. on Roots. You know what I'm saying? So I went ahead and shaved off my hair and everything like that, man. Got it down to a nice little length that I can work with. And as you guys see, I didn't do anything with my beard. My beard is matted and messed up. Like I say, man, looking like an old man out here, which I am an old man, but I don't really like looking like one all the time. I've showed you guys plenty of videos of me lining up my size and doing my fade and all that kind of stuff, neck area. I'm gonna try to cut all that out, give you like a before and after. If you guys haven't seen already um, my previous videos of my lineups, my tutorials of how I go about doing my sides and trimming off the loose hairs and just shaping my beard up and stuff like that, I'll put a couple cards above where you guys can go check them out. Right now we're in the five month of this new beard journey. Since that last video I did of the Can't Stay Away video and I'll put that up here as well where you guys can go check out that when I first started back on this journey with just a five o'clock shadow. So we five months to the day right now. So it's been ups and downs, man. A lot of ups, because I've been doing it a little bit different this time around on this beer journey. Never started off with the hair products at all. Been using strictly beer care products, beer butters and oils and balms and stuff like that. All my washes full time. You know, I didn't have any, any hiccups with using anything different than beer products. So that's been a plus in itself. So once I do this, man, and snap back into how it looks and when I'm all done and everything, I'm gonna show you guys a new product that I've been using. So you guys definitely wanna stay tuned to that so you can see what it is. A new company, well not really a new company, but a new company to me. I never used them before, so it's new to me. I'm sure you guys have heard of them, but stick around and I'll show you that at the end of the video. I'm about to get on out here, see what they want me to do. Hey, what's up baby, you all right? Grab a couple of brews, maybe we could do something like that. Give me your number real quick. So here's my little Forte list right here, my little phone. You can put your number right there for me. All right, fellas, man, just got finished lining up my beard, man, shaping it up really good along the neck area. I was looking really hairy down here. I came back with my straight razor and just razored it up a little bit, make it a little bit sharper, man, for today. It's a little nice outside today. I might step out there later on, do a little something, something. Show you this new product that I've been using. The company is Fable Beard Co., and they sent me out a beard balm. If it's going to focus. They sent me out a beard balm, and they sent me out a beard oil, and this would be a one ounce. Now this right here is the it's the Captain Red Bay Rum Pirate Blend Beard Oil and the Captain Red Bay Rum Pirate Blend Beard Balm. Now as you guys know, um, well if you guys don't know, I'm real big on Bay Rum scents and this beard oil right here really, really smells good, man. The balm is really good as well. Some of the ingredients that are in here, you know, I got my sign for the sun eyes, but we got our coconut oil, castor oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, sweet almond oil, and essential oils. As you guys can see the little label, they got the cool characters on there. Really cool characters that they have on all their products, man. They do like a little story behind every beer oil or beer bomb that they have. They have a story with it. So it's a really cool company, man. Really cool owner, man. He reached out to me. Really good guy, man. We talked for quite some time. I'm going to go with the beard oil first. And you definitely can pick up the Bay Rum. I'm picking up almost like a lemon scent as well in here. And this is the Bay Rum Pirate Blend. So I'm not sure what the Pirate Blend is supposed to be. But it almost smells like a how when you open up a can of Coca-Cola. And you get that initial smell of that Coca-Cola. Just imagine that with like some Bay Rum mixed into it. And that's the scent I'm picking up. You know me, I'm not going to ever give you a... No exact, I'm gonna tell you what it smells like in my beard or what it smells like to me, I should say. He's about a dropper size amount like that. A few drops. Mm. Yeah, definitely, definitely a nice fresh scent. I definitely pick up the Bay Rum, but like I say, I also like that Coca-Cola in a can or whatever that smell you get when you first open it, I definitely get that as well. And maybe that's just my nose or maybe y'all pick that up as well. And I'm gonna come back with my sandalwood comb from DGC. With the ox horn. Has a nice sandalwood smell to it. This also is called the alpha comb. 
you know, from B dot is alpha, this is the alpha comb. So you guys make sure you go check that out as well. I have the links in the description. Definitely go check that out. Like your man said, coming to America, like the man has his own money. Man, the man got his own damn comb. Now, as I said in previous posts on Instagram and stuff like that, I haven't really been using a lot of beard balm. I've been using a lot of beard butters along with my oils or just butters by themselves. But since I'm doing this video, I'm going to go ahead and use some of the balm. Still got the same conditioning properties as a lot of the um, beard butters and stuff like that. As you guys see, I've used a little bit of it so far. Still got the same conditioning properties. This is more of a softer beard balm. Easy to get out the tin. But again, it's going to be more beeswax in a beard balm. One of the first ingredients on here is shea butter, beeswax, coconut oil, castor oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, sweet almond oil, and essential oils. They got all the little website information on the back, Facebook, Instagram. I'll put all that down below so you guys can go check it out. But this is a really, really cream beard balm. You know what I'm saying? Almost kind of got a butter consistency, but it's still tacky enough that you know it's a beard balm. You know what I'm saying? So you know you're gonna get some hold from this. I know a lot of guys just use beard balm just to kind of smooth along their beard, but I apply it directly into my beard, to the skin, everything, man, because like I just read off the ingredients, it has some of the same carriers and stuff like that that the beard oil has and the butter has. So it's all good for your beard. It has a lot of good conditioning properties. So now that that's in there, I'm gonna brush through it real quick. We still record? Yeah. Now I'm gonna come back with my alpha comb. Now what I do, I get my metal pick, my fist pick, And I go on the bottom and give my beard a little bit more volume. Some people say, oh, I don't use metal picks and all that kind of stuff. I've never had any issues with this kind of pick at all. Ain't no hairs all in the sink and all that kind of stuff like that. So we good. Get your pack game straight. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So a quick little five month beard update, man. And uh, just went ahead, like I told you before, lined up my cheek line, bottom of my neck, hooked up my lip area a little bit. So I will put the links in the description to both of these products so you guys can go check them out. I may have a discount code as well. I'll also link that down below for you guys. And I hope you guys are having a great single de Mayo, man. I'm going to try to get this video posted today. Doing all this myself, man, is, you know, it gets kind of where I don't really get a chance to do everything all in one day, man. But I'm going to definitely try to get this video up for you guys. I want to thank you guys for all the continued support. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. And I'll holler back. Peace.